This video contains my opinion. Everything is alleged and not to be taken as fact. As always, do your own research and form your own opinions. Today we'll be covering Daryl Ann Dinner. Daryl Ann is a social media influencer with over 1.1 million followers on Instagram. Daryl Ann just launched Nudes Official. Their Instagram profile says, created for you to feel confident in the clothes you wear. Yes, even down to the basics. There's been a lot of drama surrounding this launch. Some viewers think Daryl Ann's being shady. She's not answering questions. We're gonna talk about all of this today. Hi, I'm Daryl Ann. And I'm Daniel. And we're the co-founders of Nudes. I received this DM from a viewer. There's heat going on with an influencer who's been going on and on for weeks about her line of basics she's launching Friday. Well, she has everyone excited because she kept mentioning it would be affordable. And she posted how much the items are and the comments on her Instagram at Daryl and Dinner and her new company, Nudes Official, that she hasn't even launched is going bananas. People feel misled that she mentioned the affordability of her own products. Let's take a look at these affordable prices. A crew neck sweatshirt is $98. An everyday t-shirt is $58. The scoop neck bodysuit is $58. And the pajama set is $88. Part of the issue with this launch is that viewers are saying Daryl Ann has been referring to her clothing as affordable. She's been getting a lot of backlash. She responds to the backlash and I will read her response in just a minute. But in my opinion, saying something is affordable is subjective. Just because you think it's affordable doesn't mean someone else will think it's affordable. Saying a product is affordable truly depends on a person's financial situation. What's affordable to Daryl Ann might be completely out of reach for a lot of her viewers. And it sounds like Daryl Ann's definition of affordable is not the same as a lot of her viewers. Daryl Ann was doing a Q&A on Instagram and answered this question. What will be the nudes price point? Super affordable, expensive, or in between? Daryl Ann responded, in between, not inexpensive because high quality fabrics and sewing was important to me. And we went with good factories that we made sure did everything legit, but not super expensive either. I feel like attainable quality is what I would describe it as. I received this DM from a viewer. Are you going to cover Daryl Ann's launch? She told everyone they would be somewhat affordable, but her t-shirts are literally $60. I've been seeing comments like this from people everywhere. A lot of people thought her clothing would be more affordable. Daryl Ann definitely received backlash about her prices and she responded. This is what she had to say. I've seen the feedback that some people feel the nudes pricing is more than they were hoping for, or they thought I said it would be affordable. So I wanted to repost the only commentary I've made about the pricing to clarify what I have said in the past. Affordable is such a relative term, which is why I didn't use it at all. The truth is the pricing is what it is to get you the quality. I cut zero corners when designing everything, whether it came to sewing, fabrics, factories, my pickiness, I made sure it was the best of the best. It is not fast fashion. It is designed to be something you can wear for years, and I'm so proud of that. I knew going into it, we wouldn't be for everyone. And as much as I want every single one of you to be nude, because I know you'll love it, that's okay. The fits and fabrics are going to blow your mind, and I can't even wait for you to get them in your hands. Daryl Ann's customers and potential customers are definitely upset. There seems to be some miscommunication because viewers say Daryl Ann referred to her clothing as affordable. Daryl Ann is saying she never said affordable. A viewer said it's ridiculous. She slams others for not being affordable, got called out, then called followers liars, basically saying she never said affordable. Over on Instagram at YouTuber Headlines, I ask, what do you guys think about nudes? A viewer said, Daryl Ann has very basic taste in clothes and food, so it seems overpriced for basic. This viewer said, I can't imagine paying so much for a plain t-shirt. Insanity. So Daryl Ann's viewers, customers were leaving comments on her platform. This viewer sent me a DM saying, Daryl Ann has been blocking customers and deleting their comments. If you were blocked by Daryl Ann on Instagram, let us know down in the comments, what did you say? Why were you blocked? 
A viewer said, if we didn't know she was completely and totally unrelatable, we definitely do now. How could she possibly think this was going to go over well for the average middle class consumer? The following comments were left on Daryl Ann's Instagram account. Even with a 10, 15, 25% discount, do you really think we all make big money like your family? All influencers think that. $60 for a t-shirt, $98 for a sweatshirt, and $88 for pajamas? This viewer tagged Daryl Ann and said, will you address the prices and how so many are commenting about how damn high they are? So I've heard from different viewers, Daryl Ann is not answering specific questions customers have. She's deleting comments and blocking customers on Instagram which unfortunately, this is typical influencer behavior. Now, I also heard Daryl Ann said she's being cyber bullied by her followers. People have been asking, where is everything made? And Daryl Ann just won't answer the question. The viewer said, these things make a big difference in what I'm willing to pay. Another viewer said, the ask us anything on the Q&A did not translate to we'll answer anything because quite a few people were asking these questions and they were not being answered. It would be so simple to answer the questions and I thought they were also going to address it in the try on. Something feels off. I'm absolutely not cyberbullying for the record, but potential consumers do have questions and transparency goes such a long way. That's all. I've seen other product launches where even the uncomfortable questions were answered up front from the beginning. So it's quite confusing and I think people feel like they're being ignored. This viewer made really good points here and I agree. Questions need to be answered. If you own a business and you're selling products and your customers or potential customers have questions, you need to be upfront and answer them. Transparency is key and people have valid questions about your product. What's the big deal? Just answer the questions. But this is one of the issues with influencers. Instead of being transparent and just answering questions from potential customers, they block and delete. I wanna read a few more comments that were left on that thread. I asked twice yesterday where it was made, but they didn't answer it on the Q&A. This is exactly how I feel. Wanting answers to consumer questions is not bullying. It's a simple answer, and yes, very shady that they won't answer. I don't understand it. Send an email or keep asking. Do you know how many questions were probably asked? A ton. I also asked in the question box and thought it might have a better chance in the comments. I know a lot of people have the same questions. Yes, but they conveniently only answered easy questions. They know people want answers, but won't give them. This is from Daryl Ann. This was posted on the Nudes official Instagram account. Nudes is almost here. We've poured our heart and soul into this brand and I'm so excited to share it with you tomorrow. Getting to build it with my family has been my ultimate dream come true, but none of this would be possible without you. I don't take it lightly that you trust me fully and I hope your expectations are exceeded tomorrow morning. I pray you feel more confident and beautiful in these clothes than you ever have in anything else. Thank you for supporting me always. I'm forever grateful and value each and every one of you more than I could ever express. I love you like you're my own family and I can't wait to see you in nude. So it's interesting, Daryl Ann said, I don't take it lightly that you trust me fully. And then she turns around and blocks people, deletes their comment, and won't answer questions from her customers or potential customers. By doing those things, you are breaking the trust of your customers. I get it. Dealing with the general public can be difficult. People are rude. But you have to do it. If Daryl Ann doesn't want to do it, she needs to hire someone to do it because you have to respond to customers and potential customers. Some people also think Daryl Ann's brand looks very similar to Skims. What do you think? Nudes is on the left, Skims is on the right. Now I want to share a few more comments I received from viewers over on Instagram at YouTuber Headlines. So expensive. Freaking train wreck. Hideous, ill-fitting clothes, hella overpriced, ugly color palette, not made in the USA. When asked about price, said it was affordable, $98 for a top. I get quality, but still. I use nude deodorant, so it feels like a major name copying going on. Why does it say hashtag send nudes? It sounds like they want nude photos. 
What are your thoughts on nudes? What do you think about Daryl Ann blocking viewers, deleting comments, not answering questions? Tell me in the comments. Have you seen this video? You should definitely go check it out next. An influencer boutique runs a buy one get one sale on gift cards and closes less than 30 days later. She doesn't fulfill all the orders for paying customers. It's a mess. You gotta go check it out next.